Hi there, I'm Taka from Two Touch, and in this video I'm going to be going over the by Taylor class, showing you how to create lesson slides, a few activities, and as well some of the features as well. Before getting started, please just make sure that you do log into your by Taylor OS or your Two Touch interactive panel. By doing so and logging in, you will have easy access to your cloud drive and as well as your Bitello lesson slides that you will be creating. So Bitello class is a software, cloud software that allows teachers to create interactive, extensive in, uh, you know, lesson slides uh, anywhere and anytime. They can deliver these lesson slides straight from the interact, to the such interactive panel to student devices, giving them tasks to complete and having the students submit the tasks at the same time. So a teacher just needs, all a teacher needs is just her laptop, which I'll be bringing in mine, just to show an example. Uh, so all the teacher needs to do is log into Bitello class, which you can find the link in the description below. Head over to library and slides and create a slide to suit her needs, her, her class or her students. A lot of activities and slide, uh, a lot of activities and lesson slides can be created. I already have a slide for this particular video just to show some activities and features. So for now, I'm just going to move my laptop aside and I will be coming back to it momentarily. And as I mentioned before, seeing as I've already logged into my Bitello operating system, gaining access and opening up my Bitello lesson slides is as simple as one press on the panel. After selecting the particular slide that you wish to open, it will be displayed and ready for use. So I will just go over to the next slide to just show some activities. This is the gap filling activity, uh, gap filling sentence creation, where students can select any of these particular correct words and move them into the empty spaces. I will use this particular slide just to show the interactive engagement between the teachers to touch interactive panel and student laptops. So all the teacher needs to do is press on interaction and a student will log in to this link and use this code. So bringing back my laptop, I will just sign in using the code. 004645 and the teacher all the teacher needs to do is send the current slide to the students laptops and from the students laptops the students will complete whatever activity or work is given to them so I will just complete uh, the work I've given myself Mary is going to the shops are you Angela have you seen Jerry Students can there also just check the work to see if it is correct before submitting it back to the teacher. Then I've checked my work is correct. I'm just going to submit it back to the to the touch interactive panel. And while I do so, I'm just going to move my laptop out of the way. And as you can see, the teacher has received my work, and teachers can display all the any of the students' work she she, she chooses and basically discuss it or display for example purposes to the rest of the class. Once, once the teacher is done, she can remove it all and proceed to perhaps completing the activity as uh, to show the students the correct way or the correct answers. By pressing on check, a green tick will occur and she can move on with the rest of the lesson. Other teachers can, teachers can create different types of mathematical slides, such as the counting of numbers, by having a little activity or counting number play out of there, or using the mind maps to display, hide, or reveal any answers to any of the equations that a teacher may display. And should a teacher use the mask function on the slide creation, they can hide any of the contents available and by using the back of the hand gesture erasing we can reveal this we can reveal what was hidden uh, through the slide over here on to the next uh, on to the next is the 
like science, 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 slide, where teachers can take perhaps any elements or metal from the periodic table, put them onto the slide, and with a touch of, and with a simple touch, the teacher can, and with a simple touch, the teacher can display the atomic structure of the said element or elements of metal, and then still the teacher can as well use the annotation tools to mark or make any notes accordingly on the panel. Last, lastly, but certainly not least, is a game a teacher can make is the select is the drop down game where two students can compete or play with one another. I will just show an example now, just to show quick what what, what this can do. Ready? And the, the whole the lesson was about the selecting of multiples of five. So the teacher can therefore show that the, the correct answers that the students were supposed to pick were these set answers and these were the incorrect answers. And by clicking on results, the teacher can therefore explain to the students and the rest of the class that one particular student had pressed on this incorrect answer and that correct incorrect answer, but all the other, other answers were correct so this one student did a lot better than the other student. So besides these a lot more can be done on the Vitello and lesson slide creations, a lot more activities can be made depending on the teacher, the lessons and the class that she wishes to create the lesson slides for. But that's it for me, uh, please do like, share and subscribe to this YouTube channel and video. I'm Tata from Touch. thank you so much.